Alaska. And yeah. we had some purple peppers. Somebody brought us some peppers one week. Of oh, yeah, there's plenty of purple peppers there. What's the crap. difference between a green pepper and a purple pepper? Color? About two weeks. About. <laughs> there are actually, what did she say, there's about 12 colors? There's about 12 colors. Oh, there's there's a wow. great variety. Well, thinking um, red and green. Yeah, you, you'll see that yeah. at the farmer's market. The market opens next week. You won't see me purple peppers next week. No, no, but no. you will see them as the season continues. And the uh, Michael Kins and his family, they're down on the uh, next to the Homestar Bank side of the market at the Kinky Farmer's Market. They got a great variety of different colored peppers. Now, will everybody be in the same spots this year? Try to keep them in the same spots as much as we can. You know, we, we're adding some new people this year. Mm. So uh, it makes it a little tough. Yeah. But we are adding... Um, Something for the canine friends that we have. Oh, It'll be two different. Always all, a lot of pushes all, out there. All natural dog food made locally. So uh, some people are doing that. Some other uh, some other folks are bringing uh, Windy City Spuds. Mm. Mm. Sounds big good. Degroot potatoes. Degroots right. are at the farmers market. Yep. They they get some. They get the cream of the crop. Big potatoes. They uh, they roast them up, cook them up, and uh, cut them into pieces, and well, just open them up. Really, they're kind of baked potatoes. Put eggs in them. Oh. You can get all sorts of different things. They're on already potatoes. prepared. They prepare them for you. That's part of the deal. Part of the charm. Part of the charm. Well, so they're baked. They're baked potatoes. They're baked ahead of time, right? And then oh yeah, they're baked ahead of time. It's part of their service mm -hmm. when you season. It. Put whatever toppings you want in there. Well, they they do that part too, but you can order it up. So that's just some of the fun at the farmer's market this year. We have a new um, organic, organically grown vegetable vendor there. So that's uh, going to add some more variety. I don't know if you're – I know Carl is big into bok choy. Well, I don't know how big into, but he's more into choy, not yeah. the bok. The bok, so-so, but the choy, I'm all about the choy. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll have uh, – so they'll provide some other things that – you don't always see it at the farmer's market. Are the cheese vendors coming back? The cheese guy will be back. Oh, yeah. Cheese guy will be back, and uh, the olive guy will be back in a few weeks. Not, not, he's got a Pierogi program. guy? Pierogi guy will be back, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else would be. Uh, sure. uh, got a, you know. Um, the bread people? The bread people will be back. Mm -hmm. I mean, got their word, they'll be back. Got, um, you know, we try to bring in. Romer's kind of, Baker. Romer's Baker will be back. Some unique things that you can't really get anywhere else. And, uh, you know, we'll have some concrete planters and fountains and things from Midwest Ornamental Concrete, oh. Greg Party, and uh, Josh McElroy will be doing some of that there. So people, when they buy their, their plants from, say, Don Wilgate or from, you know, guys who do the potted mm -hmm. plants, stone house herbs, then you've got something to put them in right there at the market. Uh, Decorative. Uh, the Dickman's going to have those ultra free range eggs I read about in the paper. That that wasn't that wasn't real. Oh. But I'm well, sure as long as you get the double yokers. They do have the double yokers and they still put the rubber band around them just to make sure that they don't fall. And, and the yolks on you. Have you ever talked about how they produce those double yokers? Hmm. We talked to the Dickmans about it. Yeah, the Dickmans. Uh, there's one rooster out there taking credit. But, uh, <laughs> he can't, he can't smile on his face. <laughs> he's going to go on Maury one week and prove he's the one. Did it. Yeah, we're not we're not totally sure how all that works out. People they're, from they're happy it does. The university come out there and look at it. Like that, try to figure it out. Maybe we get John Dunn, the gull guy, to come and look at it. Oh, the, speaking of the gull guy, we'll have him in just a little while here. Hey. We gotta find that. Okay, um, we'll be back with more. We'll thank my thank mom, Carlene. So for standing here. Lois. Oh, it's standing. Standing. It's been a um, pleasure. I know you have to feel the sexual work. tension in the room between hey, us. Now. Hey, careful, careful. Bill's <laughs> <laughs> mom, you're talking about. <laughs> it's acting. Acting, Carl. Character part. Yes. You mean you haven't been acting? I, no. You're just like Cole. I'm just more like this. Oh, man. Me on top. We will be right back after this on Talk AM 1320. Grab a cup of Ava Java coffee. If you're driving by uh, Bethel in Bourbon A, pull in. Pull in. Maybe you can do the same. Tell them the good folks at the Bill Yonka Show yep. sent you over.